Today I'm going to show you how you can use the XLOOKUP formula to return multiple columns of data at once. So to start with, we'll go through a quick example of how I would do that with VLOOKUP and it'll work. It'll just take more time than it does with XLOOKUP. So if you're still leaving, learn, using VLOOKUP, you know, if I wanted to return these quarterly values for these accounts, I would say equals VLOOKUP. I would want to keep that in cell A, so I press the F4 key three times. And I would reference this table array out, out here. I would press F4 to make that an absolute reference. And then for Q1, you know, this would, if I return the first column, it would just give me back the prime sub. I want Q1, so I'll return the second column, and then I'll always have to type that false if in this type of function where I want an exact match. So you can see, you know, it gives me the expected number. Now, if I wanted to go out to Q2, I could come in here and I could manually change this. To a three. If I got annoyed by that, I could come in here and I would know, okay, I'm going to return the second column, third column, fourth column, fifth column. Other people are going to be looking at this. I wouldn't want them to mess with that. So I would group that row up and then in here, I would replace that two with that cell reference then I would want to keep that locked into row one. So I would press F4 twice. Now this is a formula that I could take to use the whole way. If I look at this four account in Q3, it's given me 77. I always like to spot check my formulas when I drag them across a range like that. So 4,000 Q3, 77. So we're good. It just took us a little bit of time. So. Conversely, XLOOKUP equals XLOOKUP. Don't have to lock any relative reference in here because all I'm going to do is look up to this array. I will have to lock that one in with 1F4 and then my return array. It's structured in the same way, right? Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4. So I will just reference that entire array, lock it in, absolute reference with one F4, close the parentheses, it'll return an array. Drag that formula down, and right there, 4000 Q377, same as the VLOOKUP, just a whole lot faster. So. It's another example of the benefits of XLOOKUP and how you can return multiple columns at once using the array functionality that's built in to the XLOOKUP function.